Hey guys, good morning. It is the end of August 2024 and I know it's been a minute since I've come on and said hello to you and given you an update. Um, I'm so grateful for the people who have continued to reach out to us to ask how we are. We are without words because we are just so touched that you think of us when we are not on YouTube. Um, you may hear the birds screaming in the background, you guys. I can't really help it. We have parrots for those of you who may be new or if this is your first time tuning in here to this channel. And if you are, my name is Lee. This is our backyard garden. And we're located in northwestern Burlington County, New Jersey. Um, it's not really important for those of you who are newbies that we are zone 7a you will learn over time as you learn to grow and become uh, a more wisdom filled gardener that that zone is not really important but if you need to know we're 7a so um i'm a hot mess the garden is a hot mess you know it's august so she is doing what she wants to do and in all of this mess there's a certain level of beauty that i can't help but allow to be wild um, because the hummingbirds and the butterflies love it. Now, I haven't made a video since, I don't know, I guess it's been over 40 days um, in that time. Anna Marie, you'll be proud to know that we have had so many monarch butterflies, so many big types of spice bush and black swallowtails, yellow swallowtails, butterflies, I don't even know the name of them. Um, but the monarch, you know, I had told you um, in another conversation that we got to watch a chrysalis um, and we, we got to watch it hatch. It was just absolutely magnificent. So, but anyway, I came back here and <laughs> the wild garden is wild, but this was the best year we ever had until about three weeks ago when some crazy windstorm came through. It knocked down our main tomato trellis. Um, we got it back up, but disease has set in and now, you know, it's pest pressure season. So we thought we would give you an August update, um, because I see a lot of people suffering from the same things we are. Um, you can see that the corn field is empty. We harvested a lot of corn of the, um, the silver queen corn. It was absolutely incredible. Um, the tomatoes, the shining stars this year were Brandywine and um, the um, German Pink from MI Gardener. Oh my God, it produced the biggest, most giant tomatoes. And right now, again, she's having her way with everything, but you know what? These tomato plants were in their most upright form at least 10 feet tall this year. And uh, it's only natural that it's going to, you know, want to fall down. But it's amazing because it's not really bending hard. It's just kind of swooping down and then going back up. And she's producing more tomatoes for us. So I am now spoiled. I am now a tomato snob because German pink was the most incredible thing that could have ever happened to me. So I'm going to be telling you about some tomatoes that will and won't make it into the 2025 garden. Um, I have to get caught up with you guys because somewhere along the line, I lost, like I lost my, my voice with re recording. Lots of reasons why, there's a lot going on. So in this update, I'm going to try to not trail off too much because we've been gone for what seems like an eternity. Um, but today when I came out and I saw my pepper plants, I thought, you know what? I can't miss this opportunity to show everyone this blessing that we've had. This is like a pepper tree. You can see it's as tall as I am. <laughs> This is um, Sunbright from in my gardener that I got for a dollar last year in the sale. Um, next to it is coral bells. And then we had these crazy banana, banana peppers, um, which have been so absolutely incredible. I'm gonna back in here, see if I can show you. Let me turn you around so I can show you the banana peppers. So this has been, you know, like the most outstanding year for, I've never had banana peppers before. So they really did show up and they have been turning to like a coral, 
peachy orange color and then I harvest them at that point and then I let them fully turn red on the counter and I pan blister them oh my god it, if you have not grown a banana pepper or let it go to its full red orange I would highly encourage you to give it a try so just right on time as um, I'm, I'm recording here we have a beautiful black butterfly there have been so many oh there you go <laughs> um there have been so many they're just loving this wild garden so there's so much that i could show you out here and it's so wild i'm almost in the place of embarrassment of what's going on because it's just so out of control um you know and, and as i'm out here talking i realize that i want to go over some specific things with you, but I'm getting a little bit of attention deficit. So the mosquitoes have been unbelievable. Um, when I tell you that a swarm lands, you're, you're just covered. So what we, we've been doing is we go around and we grab some basil and I'll be showing you that as well. Um, and we just sort of, you know, rub ourselves down with it. And it does help a little bit. But right now there's this equine level of virus that's coming from mosquitoes. And we just saw on the news this morning that somebody died from it. So you, you can't take it for granted. It's like, oh, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. Let me do nothing. And I don't like to spray chemicals on myself. So um, yeah, my, my time back here is limited. So anyway, in this update, what I really wanted to tell you is that I'm going to do a specific video for you this morning about some things that I thought did really, really well. And I hope you can see behind me just how crazy wild everything is. Um, you know, we have the Costco greenhouse still up in the background. It really does nothing in this type of weather besides sit there and take up space. Um, but the gardens that we planted around it have inspired us so much to expand our garden. Um, and another update is, yep, you can see all of the blotchiness and dead patches in the lawn here. But you know what? This lawn, you had to see it just a few weeks ago. It was hay, okay? It was brown, not even brown, it was beige. So, you know, it, um, it's something that goes through here and then it just goes dormant. The front lawn is the same, but that's another video that I feel it's important. I have to come back and talk to you guys. I have to reconnect with all of you because there are topics here that I want to discuss about what's happening with the future of our lawn and why we allowed it to go dormant. Um, look at the beautiful zinnias behind me. They're mostly volunteers from last year. It's been incredible. Um, and you know, we had tons and tons of sunflowers. But Monica, you'll, you know, you have mentioned before that the goldfinches come and they devastate your sunflowers. They came here this year. So, oh, hello, butterfly. The butterflies are so magical. Um, oh, and the other night we were out front, which is another video because that's gone through so many changes. There was this absolutely magnificent striped sphinx moth that allowed me to get so close to it. It was so busy drinking from all of the nectar filled plants that I grew from seed this year. And I thought to myself, I have to tell you guys about these flowers and how I grew them from seed and what they were because it's important that you know um, what it is that you can grow and what it is that you can do because we have to continue to inspire you. We have to remain active in the community because Here's something that's happened, we, we realize. We fell into some crazy algorithm with YouTube where our videos were just not getting put out. So, you know, we put all of this work into the production of it. You get into a psychological place of feeling like there's a certain thing that you have to do because YouTube and other content creators continue to tell you, well, here's what you want to do if you want your videos to go out. Here's how you get views. Here's how you get subscribers. Here's what you have to, has to happen. And you know what? We are not in a popularity contest. We are not trying to be people, you know, that we're, we're not. We are experienced gardeners um, at this point. And we're, we're, we're learning as we go. We're not really teachers. We continue to be students of the garden. Um, what a great lesson to learn. I mean, you can come onto YouTube and look for, for advice and how to, and we, we do that as well, but we are just not that how to channel. We don't have the answers. And obviously, 
you know, our videos are not getting put out. So, however, in this time where we've been down, we have had a lot of views on our older content that is how to, that is product reviews, which we feel like we do pretty well, but we are not a consumer driven channel. We are not here to influence you, to make you think that we're, you know, that you're all our friends and we're doing this because, you know, of, of these things. Now, I have a lot to say on this topic and I don't want to go down some rabbit hole of my opinions and other content creators and why they're creating videos. There are people out there who have made a living out of this. Fortunately for us, we've already made our living in life. John continues to work full time. I'm a full time gardener and you know, I, I run the, our house. I run our life, but you know, um, it's full time, um, on multiple levels. So we do all of our own projects. We don't hire anyone for anything. So when we, when we got involved in YouTube and you know, then you realize people made money, people made fortunes from being on YouTube. You kind of get driven with, you know, oh, I made $20 this month. What if I can turn $20 into $100? What if I can turn it into $1,000? Wow, imagine if we could actually, John could quit his job and he could be here to help me full time. How amazing would that be? So you fall into a place where YouTube becomes your job and then you have to influence people to keep coming back to your channel and making people think that there's something to you that they really are not, just so you can continue having views that the commercials will continue to run and you make revenue from the commercials. Now we realize that so many people are turning that into something else, creating Patreon channels and paid subscription channels. And it's like, you know what? So there's, and, and the people who only have a dollar to spare are the ones who will send that dollar in and join Patreon so they can continue to support somebody who ends up making a lot more money than you do in the end. So we like to be in a position where any content that we create is free um, to anyone. I mean, if you're paying for internet, it's not really free because you're paying for the internet. And if we're getting paid by anyone, by YouTube, by, you know, it, it, it's not something that you guys as viewers should have to pay for. So I'm out of shape as I sit here holding my camera up in the air. Do I have a tripod? I do. Do I have a microphone? I do. But, you know, you learn to carry around your, your camera and you project your voice a certain way. You gotta put a microphone on for, you know, you're screaming into a camera or something's happened and you walk away and, you know, you know how many videos I filmed that never made it out to you guys where there was some issue. Got the birdie boys in the background that normally scream. Um, there's so much going on. So while I wanted this video to go into another direction, I just felt for those of you who I do call friends, because I've gotten to know you. Um, I do sincerely mean that, you know, when I can say to Farmer John, hey, you know, we heard from Pauline today and she, you know, let us know that she's doing well and she's watching every video. Farmer John knows Pauline, no last name is, is necessary. Anna Marie, Monica, Gail, who, you know, I chat with on Instagram and my friend Dusty, who's become you know, a true, a true, true talk every day friend who, who has gotten to know me. And I'm so happy I have this handful of women who are so wonderful, um, mean so much to us. So, um, what I like to say that I know so many more people on a, fr a true friendship level, absolutely. Because if you're giving us your time to watch our videos and we're able to make some level of revenue to keep our garden going and, and it happens from YouTube and it's not happening because you're paying for a subscription to our channel, the time that you give to someone is what represents a friendship or a relationship in some way because time is priceless. So anyway, that's the value that we want to bring is the encouragement for you guys to garden, to show you what we learn through trial and error, through success and failure is our experience. We don't have all of the answers. So anyway, I'm gonna head back into the garden now because I always like to tell everybody it's a high fashion alert with my hat and my, my dirty sleep shirt that uh, yes, I am filthy. Yes, my hands have suffered um, and I don't wear makeup and get all glammed up for this. If I did, if I had to worry about how I look under the microscope of YouTube, I would never make a video. I'm an older girl 
getting older every day. So it's important to me that you see me for who I am, that I'm not made up and out here in a pretty dress. I don't have my nails painted. This is not anything other than what it is. It's a dirty job. It's a hard job. It's a sweaty job. A lot of sacrifices get made and growing the garden has become the most important thing to us. So anyway, I'm going to go back and make a a video for you about the pepper varieties that I've grown because I think it's important. So this was a, just a quick garden update. Yes, we've had a ton of flowers. We had a very successful year. Our tomato season did end a little bit abruptly for us, but the peppers were the shining star. So I'm going to go back and make a video for you about peppers and I hope that you will um, come back to watch. And if you're new here, we do hope that you will subscribe because we do want to reach as many people as we can. Um, you know, and hopefully you're seeing this to the end. And I'm going to mention this in another video. There was something that I saw a while ago that I've been meaning to bring up. So let me collect my thoughts on this. So I think it was something on YouTube or not on YouTube, on Facebook that I saw that said, in the future, the only people who will be able to have food are the people who know how to grow their own. And I thought that was profound and revealing and I thought you know what I need to talk about that in a YouTube video and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I reach you because you can get lost along the way on your YouTube journey and before you know it you're only making videos because you feel like you have to I have to go make a video and talk to them is what I've heard from other influencers um, and I think to myself you know when you make YouTube your job and you make a revenue off of it, you have to think about the longevity of, of what this career is going to be. And you know, I wanna grab some people and give them a shake from younger creators to older creators and say, but do you have you know enough finances saved up? Do you have all of these things? I could go down a rabbit hole of, you know, talk about attention deficit and the things that I wanna talk about. So when I have so much to say, I tend to say nothing. So, you know, it's important that when you want to reach people and you have a platform like this that you stay focused anyway you guys I'm going to ramble on about it so that's a quick garden update the garden is good we are good there is a lot of stuff going on but anyway stay tuned for the pepper video we have a lot of other topics that we want to try to come back around on now that things are slowing down not really slowing down but you know it's easing up a little bit so anyway you guys thanks for bearing with us in this time that we've taken off and we hope to see you in the next video